In what order of precedence, with what attendant ceremony was the exodus from the house of bondage to the wilderness of inhabitation effected? Lighted candle in stick borne by Bloom, diaconal hat on ash plant borne by Stephen. With what intonation, Socrato, of what commemorative psalm? The hundred and thirteenth modus peregrinus, in exitu Israel de Egypto, domus Jacob de Popolo Barbaro. What did each do at the door of egress? Bloom set the candlestick on the floor. Stephen put the hat on his head. For what creature was the door of egress a door of ingress? For a cat. What spectacle confronted them when they, first the host, then the guest, emerged silently, doubly dark, from obscurity by a passage from the rear of the house into the penumbra of the garden? The heaven tree of stars hung with humid night blue fruit. With what meditations did Bloom accompany his demonstration to his companion of various constellations? Meditations of evolution increasingly vaster, of the moon invisible in incipient lunation approaching perigee, of the infinite latiginous scintillating uncondensed milky way, discernible by daylight by an observer placed at the lower end of a cylindrical vertical shaft, five thousand feet deep sunk from the surface towards the centre of the earth, of Sirius, Alpha and Canis Major, ten light years, fifty seven million million miles distant, and in volume nine hundred times the dimension of our planet, of Octurus, of the precession of equinoxes, of Orion with belt and sextuple sun, Theta and Nebula, in which one hundred of our solar systems could be contained of moribund and of nascent new stars, such as Nova in 1901, of our system plunging towards the constellation of Hercules, of the parallax or parallactic drift of so-called fixed stars, in reality ever-moving wanderers from immeasurably remote aeons to infinitely remote futures in comparison with which the years three score and ten, of allotted human life formed a parenthesis of infinitesimal brevity. Were there obverse meditations of involution increasingly less fast? Of the aeons of geological periods recorded in the stratifications of the earth, of the myriad minute entomological organic existences concealed in cavities of the earth, beneath removable stones, in hives and mounds, of microbes, germs, bacteria, bacilli, spermatosa, of the incalculable trillions of billions, of millions of imperceptible molecules, contained by cohesion of molecular affinity in a single pinhead of the universe of human serum, constellated with red and white bodies, themselves universes of void space, constellated with other bodies, each in continuity, its universe of divisible component bodies, of which each was again divisible, in divisions of redivisible component bodies, dividends and divisors ever diminishing without actual division, till, if the progress were carried far enough, not nowhere was never reached.